my problem is uh, would it be possible to add a visibility parameter where you can indicate whether you use scale 150 or 1 to 20 where the size of the text and symbol adjust to the chosen visibility so let's go ahead and open our block editor right um, by right clicking on the block and pick block editor and here we go we are inside his block now one of the first things i want to do here um, in order to change the scale of this block right quickly i'm gonna add a linear parameter from our block authoring palette right here if you don't see it it's right here on your ribbon you can also click on it to open it so again my first parameter is going to be a linear parameter and following instructions uh, on the command line i'm going to start my first point so my first point i want to place it exactly on the middle of the block like so and then i'm gonna uh, constrain this uh, by using the ortho mode and I'm gonna place it uh, right now I don't know the distance um, so I'm gonna randomly place it uh, right about here and then of course finally I'm gonna specify my label location uh, around here all right now in reality um, I don't need any of these um, stretching or grips right here um, because we're going to control the size from a visibility um, grip, right? So then what I'm going to do is uh, remove these um, icons from my properties palette and I'm going to scroll all the way down and where it says number of grips, um, I'm going to change that to zero as you can see. So we can see that there is an exclamation mark over here and for folks who are familiar with dynamic blocks, it simply means that this parameter is missing an action, right? So let's go ahead and add that action. I'm going to go on under the actions tab over here and the action that I need uh, to help my friend Matthias is the scale action. So once I select that, I can follow the instructions and select my parameter and also select my objects, which are going to be all of them. And then I can, of course, press enter. You can see immediately that the exclamation mark goes away and that's what we wanted. Now, how can we add the visibility states to control this scale action, right? The regular visibility um, parameters won't work for this specific case. Uh, normally we would use this visibility, but we need a visibility um, option that can control the scale of this block and this uh, visibility doesn't have that power so then what i'm gonna utilize is the parameter called lookup so let's utilize that and following the instructions i'm gonna go ahead and uh, specify the parameter location so i'm gonna place it right about here and here we go that's the lookup parameter that we're utilizing to somehow trick AutoCAD uh, and have that visibility option to scale this block. Next, what I like to do is go ahead and right click on the scale action and simply modify the selection set. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to add the lookup parameter under this scale action so and simply i'm gonna do it by making sure the add option is selected and simply selecting my lookup parameter and pressing enter now as you can see we still have a small problem here 
where we have an exclamation mark under the lookup uh, parameter. And again, that simply means this is uh, missing something and the thing that it's missing is the input. So in order to add some values, I'm going to double click under the lookup table and I can uh, arrange this so you can see better. Let's over here start adding uh, properties to our lookup table. And the way I'm going to do it is by clicking add properties. Over here, we have two properties right here are basically two different parameters that this block have. The flip, which was previously added by our friend Matias, right? And the distance one, that's the one, uh, the linear one that I just included. So that's the one that I care about and that's the one I'm going to select. And once I do that, uh, look what happened now. We can input some values over here for the distance uh, or linear parameter. And also we can add a name here to differentiate all of these distance values. Pay attention over here. So the scale that he's requesting is uh, 150 and, and 1 to 20. All right, so that's very important. So the first thing I'm going to add is the names of, in this case, the lookup or the visibility that we can pick. And then over here, we can add the uh, size for the scale that we want for 1 to 20, right? So in reality, uh, over here under these drawing scales, 1 to 20, of course, would be one unit in model space, would be 20 units or 20 times uh, the size in paper space. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say 20 for the scale action to to my work and then over here for the 1 to 50 I'm gonna of course say 50 right and we can keep adding over here um, our friend only requested two but I'm gonna add one more one to a hundred and then of course the scale would be a hundred right about here okay now Let's see what happened now um, when we hit OK. So let's go ahead and test our block, see what we did so far. And I'm going to select the block. Um, and then you can see a visibility grip shows up. In reality, this is a lookup. It's not a visibility, but it works as it as a visibility so i'm gonna click on it and now we have all of these different options so i'm gonna hit 1 to 20 and you can see uh, the size change of course if i hit 1 to 50 it would be also bigger as well as 1 to 100. now let's test this flip also and it's working as expected now there is something um a small problem right here and the problem is this custom option right here that if we click on it it looks like nothing happens but this might be you know a something that many folks uh, don't know how to get rid of this custom option under the uh, lookup table and let's resolve that for you and for other folks and let's go back to the close test block and in order to fix that or modify a lookup table what we need to do is simply right click on it and say display lookup table that's the only way if you double click on it it won't open um, because this distance um, over here this distance parameter have a random size and the lookup table is smart enough to recognize that and is giving you a custom visibility right here so if we know that then what we can do is simply pick one of these values over here for the distance so 20 50 or 100 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. So I'm gonna click my uh, linear parameter. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna hold in shift on my keyboard. I'm gonna right click and say from. And I'm gonna say from this point, I want 20 to the right. I'm gonna press enter. Look what happened now when I test my block and we select our grip boom the custom option went away immediately and this is because our linear parameter now match one of these numbers and the custom option doesn't need to be there anymore all right so again let's quickly test our block and it's working beautifully as you can see right now